Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Kaizo Emerald playthrough. This is part five and we're here at the first gym. We are ready for our first major challenge. I've gone ahead, I've made sure that we have an adequate team to fight off against this gym. Um, so there's been a couple of changes. First of all, Alfredina, the beautiful Poochiana, uh, kind of sucked, right? It had Bite, that was fine. Level 15, it learned Adore Sleuth. Not really anything useful for this gym. Yeah, Bite is special, but for the most part, I thought it was better if we just brought Dumbo and the Nuzleaf onto our team, as they have some pretty interesting moves, actually, that's kind of interesting. But first and foremost, the most disappointing thing that has happened in between episodes is when Torchic evolved, it lost speed boost and became Blaze. Which really hurts. It really hurts. I would have much preferred to have speed boost. Speed boost would have been amazing. It's a great ability. Blaze isn't. It just isn't, you know? So, I mean, we have this here. It has some pretty okay stats. It's got some decent attack power. Uh, but now has Fire Spin instead of Scratch, which is 100% accuracy. So it's not total trash, actually. Uh, it could be useful in the right situation. We've still got Peck for coverage. We've still got Ember for when we just want to pop something with a Fire-type move. And we have Double Kick instead of Seismic Toss as we're going into a Rock-type gym. That's the plan. That's the thought. I am very sad we lost Speed Boost, though. Next up, we have Poliwag. We have Kip, um, who has Bubble Beam, and that's about all we need. Um, it's pretty fast. Its attack stats aren't crazy. Its special attack isn't the best. But it's super effective and it's fast, so I mean, it kind of had to come with us. Um, we have our Calm Natured Spoink, which actually did learn a new move. It learned Psybeam, which is actually a decent chunk stronger than Confusion, so it could be kind of useful. We have Nidorino instead of Nidoran, who went ahead and evolved and obviously has Double Kick with no other changes. We have ourselves this cute Charm Fanpy, which honestly... The most fun part about training was I trained up where there were Jigglypuffs, and the Jigglypuffs would use Pound on me and get infatuated with my fan pee. feels so good to do that to a Jigglypuff, honestly. It just... I feel like I get to bully the Jigglypuff into, into love. You know, it's great. But we have Tackle, we have Mud Shot, we have Ice Shard, and we have Rock Throw. Fun moveset. I really like this moveset. I love the fact that we have Ice Shard, honestly. So I'm probably going to keep fan pee on the team for quite a while, just because I really like its moveset. And we have Nuzleaf, who has a nice moveset, right? It has Mega Drain and Bullet Seed, which are the main moves we're going to use. Nature Power, I don't actually know what it's going to do in the gym room, but it was using Stun Spore before. Bullet Seed, however, has a drawback. It only fires two times. I tested this very, very extensively. It was the only move I used from leveling this thing up from, like, level 7 to level 16. It only hit two times every single time. Now, <laughs> there is technically a chance that I could get that roll, right? That could genuinely happen, but that's a very, very low chance. So I'm pretty sure it only hits two times. So let's go ahead, start making our way through this gym, and as we're right at the beginning, while it's fresh in my mind, question of the day, as we're fighting a rock type gym, I feel like it should kind of involve rock types. I'm gonna try and do this for the other gyms as well when we get to them, but if you could create any rock type, right, based on something from real life, what would you create? I don't care if it's something that's already been put into the game, because obviously in the Pokemon universe, lots of things have already been done. Uh, for example, say you really like Pterodactyls and you want a rock type Pterodactyl. Aerodactyl already exists, right? But if you don't like Aerodactyl and you want something new, go for it. I don't care if it's already been done. For me, I really want a Triceratops Pokemon. Technically, Technically, Bastiodon is meant to be something along that line. Like, it's meant to be something like a Triceratops, but for me, it just doesn't fit a Triceratops. It doesn't feel like a Triceratops. The only Pokemon game I can think of that has had a good Triceratops in that I really liked was actually Pokemon Order and Chaos. I remember it very well. There was a Pokemon in that game called Havasaur, and I really liked that Pokemon. Other than that one game, there's just never been a good Triceratops Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Pokemon Clover had one, but it wasn't good. So I really want just a really nice rock and ground Triceratops Pokemon that's just good. You know, just a good Triceratops. That would make me so happy, honestly. So, yeah. DL, DR, um, if you could create any rock type, 
offer something in the real world, world uh, what would you choose? Nice and simple. Nice and simple. I just want to try Ceratops. Is it so much to ask? I feel like we have so many good fossil Pokemon, right? But, speaking of fossil Pokemon, there's an Omanyte. See, I thought we were going to see some fossils come in. That's why I was going with this. I have a feeling there's going to be an Aerodactyl somewhere in this gym. Probably on Roxanne. I'm expecting an Aerodactyl. That's why it's in my mind so much. Right, I'm going for Bullet Seed. It's going to hit twice if it doesn't just one-shot, actually, now that I think about it. I mean, yeah, yeah, okay, all right, yeah, that... Of course it's gonna hit twice, right? Fair enough, because we're gonna KO it. But I wanna go up against something that maybe is only neutral, maybe like a, a rock and grass type or something. There's probably a little leap in here. I will bullet seed the leap. We will see if we only hit twice. We will see. I already know, but we'll see anyway. Um, so we only lost our Combuskin just to a self-destruct, and I mean, you know what, honestly? Sure. Sure. That's fine. Um, I think I have to fight every trainer, huh? Yeah, I don't think that was a way I could could have got through this puzzle without fighting every single trainer, so sure, sure. Aaron. Okay, okay. Please don't tell me I'm going to have to, like, f the first gym, they're just going to be like, you know what, we want you to have a mild challenge. Here's a level 15 Mega Aggron. <laughs> uh, although that would be a Steel type, that would be pure Steel, that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. But still, I don't want to deal with that. Corsola? Oh, you poor thing. You're gonna get hit by the seed. I am... Mm. Mm. Actually. Mm. You know what? Never mind. No, it's not. No. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's gonna get hit by the bullet? That oh, doesn't sound much better. That makes it sound like it's gonna die. Oh. I don't think this is a good way out of this for you, Corsola. I'm so sorry. <laughs> At least the Corsola looks happy, I guess. Bopped. Actually bopped. Nuzleaf? Is a Pokemon that I do kind of want to use. However, there was also a little patch of grass onto the right before you enter Rustborough, like where you would normally pick up an item past where um, that lady gives you the berry. There's that area there, and that has a bunch of grass types, and one of them is Cacnea. And I think I said at some point earlier in the playthrough, I wouldn't mind using a Cacnea. I don't know why, just at the moment, that Pokemon sounds kind of fun to use. It's definitely not the best Pokemon, for sure. But we might we might pick it up. We might have a look. Uh, this Nidorino honestly looks like it's half transformed into a Nidoking already, and it's kind of weirding me out. It looks like it's like halfway through <laughs> evolution to Nidoking. We get the poison point. Hopefully we get that a couple of times in the gym battle. I'm definitely going to make sure we run back and heal up before we go into the actual gym battle, though. Um, we should live whatever goes for next, considering that was a crit aerial ace. I don't feel too afraid. Withdrew the Yanma. Go into Lavatar. You know, it's a smart play. I can't really complain. It's just... I want to complain. <laughs> I just want to complain, that's all. Um, I guess we can go into Fanby. I'm trying to keep everyone kind of on power and level. Like, if this Lavatar is already level 15, I might actually be under level. That's the crazy thing. And this thing has Earthquake. Can you not? Can you just not? I don't want to see any Earthquake. That's a very powerful move for a first gym. Maybe a little too powerful. I feel like that's too powerful for a first gym. Bulldoze, sure. I could deal with Bulldoze. In some ways, honestly, Bulldoze is scarier than Earthquake, because if you outspeed and then you don't outspeed, it gets two attacks off. That can be scary. But Earthquake? Earthquake is just a crazy move in general. I don't I don't want to see that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to come back out. We already know the Loaf of Bread can deal with this, so we should be fine. I don't think it can do anything too crazy. I mean, maybe it can Silver Wind boost? As I think this thing has Silver Wind. Oh, but it's going to come and take extra poison damage. No, even with Silver Wind boost, we're fine. You tried, Yanma. You did try. I respect the attempt, but not today. Today, we are going to win a gym battle without whiting out. That's the plan. Guys, do you believe in me? Does everyone believe in me? I think I can do it. I really do. Am I even confident I can take on this last trainer without going and healing? You know, if I'm honest, I'm not actually confident we can, but I'm going to give it a go, okay? I'm, is there a point? You know what? For the sake of time and speed, let's give it a go. We might be in the middle of town, but so what? My rock Pokemon need room to rampage. 
That sounds like a Rampardos user. Do you have a Rampardos, or at least a Kranidos? Onyx? What was that? What was that animation? That was powerful. I feel like I saw something right there. Um, okay, okay, sure, go for dig. I don't really have a Pokemon that can take that dig, and I'm actually amazed the Onyx has fed me. That hurts a little bit. That does hurt a little bit. Psybeam gets the confusion though, so if it goes for dig again... Oh, withdrew, okay, okay. To go into Baltoy, smart place, smart place. I can't even be mad, smart place. However, we do have Psy Wave, so we can hit this thing. The Psy Wave is always neutral. It's a weird move, but in this situation, it's good. That's decent, and we're gonna get slowed down even more, which is annoying for sure, for sure. Um, I know that Kip can deal with Onyx, because there's no way that Kip doesn't outspeed. You have Signal Beam! Okay, that's a pain. Yep. Yep, we might have actually survived if it wasn't for the crit. We genuinely might have survived. I actually think we probably would have survived. That's really annoying. Kip, get in here and absolutely destroy all of them, please. That's your plan. Go ahead. Bubble Beam them all into... into the dirt. Soak them into the dirt. So they can't move. They're just trapped there. And then maybe like stand on their head a little bit with your little tadpole feet and just, just stomp them into the ground so they can't move. That'll be great. Okay, if you could just do that for me, Kip, that'd be that'd be wonderful. <laughs> Basically asking Kip to become a murderer, but you know what? It's fine. 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 Just just bury him a little bit. Um, Kabuto. Hit by a bullet. Oh, not two times, only one time. That. That I like. Then again, it is a stab four times super effective move. Is there really a chance of it surviving? No, no there's not. And we also have Onyx, who we should definitely outspeed. If this Onyx outspeeds me, I will be very sad. I will be very, very, very sad, because Kip is meant to be the fastest thing. I love that animation when it pops out. What is it doing? <laughs> Why does it do that? I love it. It makes me want an Onyx, just so I can see the animation. Although I wouldn't see the animation because I'd see it from behind. That sucks. Level 18. And a Cacnea? Why do you have a Cacnea? Why do you have a Cacnea? Oh no. We have Ice Shard on Dumbo, but I don't think it's going to be enough to one-shot it. It might do a decent amount, I guess. Uh, I forget, Cacnea is not part dark yet, is it? It's just pure grass, so it's probably better if I just go for Peck? Or is it better if I just go for Poison Sting and try Poison it? Ah, we'll go for Peck. That's decent. That's decent damage. Stomp, poison yourself. <gasps> we survive? Ooh. I mean, I'm just gonna go for Peck again, because it puts it into Ice Shard range, which is all I really care about. Poison yourself anyway, just for the fun of it. You know you want to. Aww. But it's okay, we have Dumbo. Um, Dumbo with Ice Shard. It's so good. It's so good. It's such a good move. Look at that. Look at the Ice Shard. I love the fact we have Ice Shard so much. I didn't actually check the base power of Ice Shard. I don't know if it's the same as always. But some things have been changed. For example, Fire Spin. Fire Spin's been changed. I... That's probably worth a check, actually. Let's just check that real quick. It's still base 40. Okay. Mud Shot's actually 100% accuracy. Didn't expect that. Is there anything else that's different that I didn't expect? No, they're the same. Side Beam and Bubble Beam are still 65. Um, we already saw Fire Spin. I mean, we know Bullet Seed is base 25, but at the same time, it only hits twice. It's technically base 50. Which isn't the best, but at the same time, it's a little bit more damage than Mega Drain. I think we'll probably use Mega Drain a bit more, unless we know it has Sturdy. For example, if they're going to send out a Geodude, you best believe we're going to Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf is definitely going to be the strongest. Hopefully we see... Oh, I just remembered something. Apparently all gym battles are 6v6. That was on the, the page that you download from. Well, I mean, we have six Pokémon. We're leveled up. I think we're ready. <laughs> Famous last words, who's ready to see me get destroyed? <laughs> Oh no. Let's see how famous those last words are. Are we gonna be okay? Hi, Roxanne. Hey. Hey. I think we should lead. 
Loaf of bread is surely going to be the least useful. Right? Maybe it's Combuscan. We'll leave a loaf of bread. Combuscan might be useful. We saw that one trainer just then had a Cacnea. I have no idea if she's going to have like five rock types and a grass type or anything like that. So we'll keep Combuscan around as long as possible. But let's get into this. Hello, I am Roxanne, the Rust Barrow Pokemon Gym Leader. I became a Gym Leader so that I might apply when I learned at the Pokemon Trainer School in battle. That's a point, I never went there. Maybe could have got a Quick Claw or something. Would you kindly demonstrate how you battle and with which Pokemon? I also didn't put berries on my Pokemon. I'm not prepared. <laughs> I went into this way too quickly. I didn't think this through. I didn't think this through. No, it's past level 15. Okay, she's leading with her old ace. That's kind of scary, um, but we have double kick. Yikes. Thunder Wave. Oh, it begins. Okay. Here come the Paralysis Pokemon. All right, then. Thunder Wave Attract. This is not difficulty. This is just chance. That doesn't make it more difficult. It just makes it an annoying game of chance that's really annoying to play against. It's not... A hard strategy. If there was rock tombs and stuff, lowering my speed, forcing me to switch and stuff like that, sure. Thunder Wave Attract isn't fun difficulty. And the nose pass goes for the citrus berry. Um I'm just gonna stay in, honestly. If we break through it, we break through it. If we don't, it's whatever. It does get poisoned, though, which is kind of nice. If I had the Cherry Berry, I was genuinely going to put Cherry Berry on, like, all of my Pokemon. Okay. Okay. So we have the Poison Ticking. I don't know if it's going to be enough. It's annoying that we have 45 HP, so it's just enough to KO us in three hits. That's kind of annoying. It's going to take another round of Poison Damage. Do I think a Bullet Seed would KO it from there? Maybe. Although we've seen that it probably doesn't have a ground type move. Maybe it's just time to just bring in Combuskin. Combuskin has 46 HP. It won't get free shot. Um, but do I want Combuskin paralyzed? You know, Dumbo can't be paralyzed by Thunder Wave. Yeah, that's a good reason. That's a good reason. I like that reason. We'll bring in Dumbo. Dumbo has the mud shot. I don't think a mud shot is going to be enough to one shot, but we'll give it a go. We have speed. Ooh, that's so sad. Actually, if you use a tract on me or whatever. Didn't expect that one. Um, that's kind of annoying. Anorif. That is a really bad Pokemon for me to go up against, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yep, Buck really hurts Nuzleaf. Um, I don't really want to swap... It's probably- it has x scissor, doesn't it? Just use it. Yeah. x scissors Scissors? It has multiple scissors? Okay, okay. So, this is just a learning attack, isn't it? I just have to learn the stupid things that this gym has, and learn how to counter it, and then come into it again. This fight is basically a write-off the first time we come into it. Because there's gonna be stupid things. Also, x scissor just crit one-shot my Poliwag. Um, yeah. Yeah, this one's a write-off. Uh, we're gonna come back into this gym and fight it again, I guess, with with Pokemon that might actually do better. How is an Anorith outspeeding my Combuskin? That's not how that works. I don't think that's how that works. And a Relicanth. Well, I mean, this is time for Nuzleaf, I guess. Can we Mega Drain our way to victory? 
That's genuinely what this comes down to. Can I Mega Drain against four Pokemon right now? Is that something I can do? I doubt it. I really doubt it. Uh, we'll go for the Bullet Seed at first, because we don't need to heal, and it's technically more power. Ooh! Ooh! Please tell me your last Pokemon are Kabuto, Omanai, and Geodude. They're not gonna be. The Leap. Um, that's weak to fighting, actually, so we're gonna go back into Combuskin. If we can win this with just these two Pokemon, I will be incredibly surprised. But Lilith is gonna be annoying, isn't it? It's gonna have stupid things, like Protect Toxic and, and Ingrain and all of those stuff. Or at least that's what I'm expecting. Double Kick does good da Okay. Okay, there's my retired crit for the Poliwag, I guess. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. And that brings Buskin up a level. It actually only has 26 speed, it is really slow. Trying to land Flame Wheel, I guess that's more power than Ember, because there's no physical special stuff, so I mean, sure, it's just a power increase. Why not? Why not? We have the Fire Spin for this next Pokemon if we can. Let's send in Lunatone. Uh, actually, no, Nuzleaf can fight that, okay. We're not gonna get hit by any any stupid Psychic-type moves. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Nuzleaf, are you the key? Are you the key right now? Um, I think we'll outspeed, so I'll bullet seed. We do not outspeed, it has hypnosis. If I put my Chesto Berry on this Nuzleaf, if only I had done that. If only. I guess I'm Mega Draining. Rock Slide! That's a strong move. You shouldn't have that. That's a scary move. How about you put that away? Okay. We wake up. Wait, it's a speed tie? Oh no, this is too close to my heart. Oh, that does not do enough damage. We'd have to Bullet Seed. I don't think Bullet Seed would KO. I mean, we'll give it a go. It only hits twice, but it might be enough. It's enough because we got a crit! Okay, 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 alright, this is now getting very close. Okay, okay, alright, there is one Pokemon remaining. We might just win this. Trying to learn Faint Attack. Honestly, sure, sure, go for it. Instead of, um... Eh, Nature Power could be useful. I don't like Bide. I don't think we're bulky enough to use Bide. Okay, 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 okay. What is the last Pokemon? I can't heal. Shuckle. Oh, you didn't make it a shuckle. Oh, you didn't do this. I guess I'm fire spinning. And we're gonna see what it does. This is gonna be stupid. We're gonna go for the fire spin. It's gonna be residual damage each turn. Okay, it's not gonna do a lot at the start, but it's gonna start stacking up. Curse. Okay, okay. Both of my attackers are special attackers. That's a positive. However, I don't like the fact it's buffing its attack. Because I'm afraid of what this thing might have. I'm afraid of the shuffle. That does no damage. <laughs> oh, it's gonna have a full heal. It's gonna have a citrus berry and it's gonna go back to full health. Oh, this is just painful. Yeah, Flame Wheel's my strongest attack because Double Kick's not gonna do as much. I mean, it's doing decent. Just keep casting. Go for six curses. I trust in you. Go for six curses. You can do it, Shuckle. Keep casting. There's the berry. Okay. It's gonna one-shot my Pokemon, so that's terrifying. Flame Wheel, I guess. I suppose. Another curse? Okay. Okay, at this point, any time he goes for a move, my entire team dies, right? It's gonna just, this is gonna be bad. It's gonna be real bad. I can go for another flame wheel. It's gonna get to like half, and then it's gonna use something stupid like Le Leech Life. Toxic. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. Toxic it is. I'm okay with that. Freed from Fire Spin. Do I want to set that back up, or do I just want to go for Flame Wheels? I think just going for Flame Wheels is probably smart here. The Fire Spin was good, it got its full damage off, I'm happy. At this point, I want to make sure it gets as low health as possible for when it starts one-shotting my team. Right. 
a dream. Boosting my fire type moves? Oh, what a lucky day. Thank you, Shuckle, you beautiful wormy girl, you, you, you. <laughs> Why do you have Sunny Day, though? Why? What do you have? Wait, why are you going for Sunny Day? Do you have Synthesis? Don't have Synthesis. Roll out. I was afraid of that, but it didn't defense curl before it? Yeah, if that had a defense curl before it, sure, I'd be terrified. This is a very close match. It's gonna come down to... Bullet Seed, essentially. Bullet Seed can't miss. I think we're good! Trouble has no HP. Are we good? Did we win? Wait. Wait. Nuzleaf. Nuzleaf MVP. MVP. Most valuable Pokemon. Okay. Uh, we didn't white out. It was way closer than I thought. Imagine if I had berries and stuff. That would have been... You know? Okay. That was okay. It wasn't... I'll admit the nose pass was kind of annoying, for sure. I, I thought it was going to go a very different way than what it did. I thought it was going to go the, the status effect route. I'm glad it didn't. It might have if we didn't get some crits there, but you know what? Victory. I'll take it. The stone badge hides the attack power of all your Pokemon. It also enables them to use cut outside of battle. Please take this with you too. Uh, can it be Rock Slide? Your Pokemon used Rock Slide. I would like Rock Slide, please. No, I don't care for Rock Tomb. I don't... I don't care for Rock Tomb. I want Rock Slide. You have Rock Slide. Or Earthquake or something, you know? Does it have to be Rock Tomb? But okay. 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 And we should see the Devon Researcher go ahead and run on along. Wait, please don't take my goods. Uh, I am going to quickly heal and check out the Trainer School. To see if I could have maybe got a Quick Claw. I honestly don't know if I'd even put a Quick Claw on anyone over like an Orange Berry or something, to be honest. But I did also find out you can harvest berries. So I'm going to set up a little bit of a Cherry Berry Farm and I'm going to use berries and no one can stop me. I'm going to have so many cherry berries process, it's just not going to be a thing. It's going to be wonderful. Pokemon Trainer School. Let's see if we can get ourselves a Quick Claw. Could be useful on... I don't even know who our Slurs Pokemon is. Can I not speak to him? I can't speak to him. Yeah, I can't speak to him in any way. That's, uh, that's kind of annoying. Hi Scott, how you doing? Do you want to give me a quick claw? You know, just change it up a bit. Yep, stone badge. Yep. Yep, you want to... You... Okay. Well... I guess that's where we're calling it an episode. Honestly, a much more successful episode than what I was expecting. I'm pleasantly surprised that we got through that on our first attempt. I thought it was going to take two attempts. I was fully expecting two attempts, even like halfway through. I said the first match was a write-off, and it really wasn't, because Nuzleaf was very, very strong. I think that's just secured Nuzleaf's spot on my team for a good while. Maybe it won't be on the team when we go into the fighting type gym, because obviously, you know, dark typing. Maybe not the best. We might see if we can pick up maybe a uh, flying type before that. But for right now, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll vote for everybody.